Today, we are diving into a patent that isn't just an upgrade, it's a complete game changer for autonomous machines. We're talking about a radical rethinking of how a machine sees the world in 3D, and honestly, the implications for investors and anyone in tech are absolutely huge. So this really is the million dollar question, isn't it? You know, for years, pretty much everyone agreed that to get a really precise 3D map of the world, you absolutely needed expensive, specialized gear like LiDAR. But Tesla, well, they've been making a massive bet against that idea. And this patent shows us exactly how they plan to win that bet. And their answer is just so elegant, it's brilliant. Instead of packing more and more complicated sensors onto the car, they decided to just make the software and the math behind it exponentially smarter. They're essentially trading out pricey hardware for pure computational genius. The way they pull it off is fascinating, so let's break it down. First up, let's get right into the core innovation itself. This is the why behind the whole system. This is the fundamental leap in thinking that makes everything else possible. Okay, so before this breakthrough, developers were stuck between a rock and a hard place. It was a brutal trade-off. You could get a super detailed 3D map, but it would take, get this, 27 times more computing power, which is just way too slow for a moving car. The other option, a fast, low-res map that just wasn't accurate enough for tricky stuff like parking. You couldn't have both. It was an impossible choice. The solution is a mathematical concept called trilinear interpolation. Now I know, that sounds super complicated, but the core idea is incredibly powerful and actually pretty simple. Instead of trying to calculate every single point in space, you just intelligently calculate a few key critical points, and then you let the math fill in all the rest with pinpoint accuracy. It just completely sidesteps that old impossible trade-off. And the patent uses this fantastic analogy to explain it. Think about how NASA sends a probe all the way to Neptune. They don't calculate its position every single second of the journey, right? Of course not. They map out a few critical waypoints, like using Jupiter's gravity for a speed boost, and then they use the laws of physics to perfectly fill in the path between those points. This system does the exact same thing just for the space immediately around the car. And this visualizes that NASA analogy perfectly. This is what's called a signed distance field. So instead of mapping out millions of individual points, the AI just calculates eight values, one for each corner of this little cube or voxel. Those eight points act like the waypoints, and from them, the system can instantly and accurately figure out the position of any surface inside that space, down to sub-centimeter precision. And the result of all this mathematical elegance? A staggering 90% reduction in the amount of computation needed. Let me say that again, 90%. For any investor, that number is everything. It means you're getting LiDAR quality results, or even better, on much cheaper, more efficient hardware. All right, let's move on, because this tech builds into a massive strategic advantage for the company. We're not just talking about one car anymore. We're talking about a universal platform for everything. This diagram from the patent really shows you the long-term vision. You're looking at one single core AI model that is being used across a standard Tesla, the Optimus robot, and the Cybertruck. It's one brain that can be put into completely different bodies, operating in totally different environments. So why is that such a big deal? Well, it means you only have one AI system to develop, to debug, to improve. Every bit of data, every improvement, benefits the entire product line simultaneously. This creates this incredible feedback loop, a data flywheel. What the Optimus robot learns about navigating a warehouse today could make the car better at parking tomorrow. It's a massive operational advantage that competitors with separate siloed systems just can't match. Okay, so we've covered why it's so efficient and scalable. Now let's take a look at what the system is actually doing. We'll go step by step from a simple camera image all the way to a full 3D world. It all starts right here, stage one. The system is just pulling in video feeds from eight totally standard off-the-shelf cameras. That's it. No fancy expensive sensors, just pixels coming in from eight different points of view. Next up is where the real magic happens. In stages two and three, a bunch of neural networks scan those images and pull out all the important features. Then a transformer, and this is the same kind of AI technology that powers things like ChatGPT, takes all those 2D features from all eight cameras and brilliantly fuses them together. It understands not just what it's seeing, but how everything relates in three-dimensional space. And here's the final product of that whole process. You get this rich, detailed, queryable 3D map of the world around the car. The car's brain can now ask this map simple questions like, hey, is there enough space for me to merge left? Or how far away is that curb exactly? 
and it gets precise, real-time answers. Now, to really appreciate how amazing that output is, you have to see what came before it. On the left, you've got a point cloud, which is just this noisy, chaotic mess of dots. And on the right is an old-school voxel map, which looks kind of like Minecraft. It's blocky and really lacks any fine detail. Both of these older methods were messy and took a ton of computing power. And now, look at the result from Tesla's new method. I mean, the difference is night and day. It's not a cloud of points or a world made of blocks. It's a smooth, continuous, high-fidelity reconstruction of reality. You can literally read the word stop painted on the road surface. This is the kind of quality you get when you use elegant math instead of just brute force computing. So, let's bring this all home. In our final section, let's talk about the big picture. The so what? What is the ultimate competitive advantage here? This chart really puts it all in black and white for anyone looking at the competitive landscape. I mean, look down the list. On every single key metric, cost, scalability, a unified platform, and even the quality of the resolution, this software-defined approach creates a massive, massive advantage over systems that have to depend on expensive and specialized hardware. And a performance payoff is just undeniable. You're getting sub-centimeter accuracy, which is exactly what you need for tight maneuvers. It's all happening in real time, faster than 30 frames per second. And you're doing it all without the expensive sensors that competitors are forced to rely on. It's simply better, faster, and cheaper. At the end of the day, what we've been looking at here isn't just some cool new feature for AutoPark. No, this is a foundational engine for perception. These are the eyes and the spatial reasoning for every single car, robot, or whatever autonomous machine Tesla decides to build from this point forward. And that leaves us with a final, pretty provocative thought. We just watched how clever software and elegant math can make an entire category of complex, expensive hardware totally obsolete. So the real question for the future, and for anyone investing in this space, is what piece of hardware is next on the chopping block?